next. No? Good evening. How can I help you today? Okay. So, are we a new pharmacy for you then? Okay. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. Have you established a new care facility? Mm hmm. And you found a good doctor for you? Wonderful. And has that medical office or have you yourself transferred over your medication list to us? Oh. We'll make sure of that and see if anything is ready for you just yet. Since you are new to our pharmacy, do you mind if I just fill in a little bit of information about you so we're mm, up to date in our system? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. What is your last name? Okay. And your first name? And middle initial if you like. Okay. Your date of birth? And what year is that? It does look like I have you in my system, which is great. It means that medical office has sent over mm -hmm, at least some of your information, which is a perfect start for you. Mm -hmm. okay. Just um, what pharmacy were you switching from? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, um, one of ours, basically. Okay. Nope, that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Now, before we go any further, I do need you just to confirm that your name and date of birth is correct on that screen there on the counter. Mm -hmm. And is the spelling correct as well? Okay, good. So much easier to double check that now <laughs> instead of later in the process, yes. Okay, now, what is your current address? And is there an apartment number on that? And what about the zip code? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there an email address that you would like me to add to your account here? Okay. Just another means of communication for us. And what's that at? Dot com. And what about a phone number? Uh, primary contact is fine. Mm hmm Okay. So the only reason we would give you a call is if um, we have a question regarding one of your prescriptions or if a prescribing doctor's office had relayed a message to us. Mm-hmm. And then you also have the option, would you like to receive um, text message updates? So this would be primarily for your prescriptions. Um, when they are ready, if we need to do a fill on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So if you can just confirm on that screen that you would like to receive the text messages. Okay, good. Is there anyone that you would like to give permission to to pick up prescriptions for you, or know um, details about your prescriptions. Mm -hmm. I can kind of be like an emergency contact, or really whoever um, you see fit. It's up to you. Okay, and well, what's their name? Okay. And what's the relationship to you? Okay. And do you have a phone number for them? 
much does it back up? Yeah, you can look it up. It's okay. Nobody remembers phone numbers anymore. Okay. Let me know when you have it. that you have that we need to be made aware of. Um, that could be for medication, prescriptions, um, foods. Mm-hmm. like um your doctor's office has sent over a medication list for you mm -hmm. um do you just want to confirm with me which ones those are so i know which uh, prescriptions you are expecting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good it's always nice when things are on the same page, if you will. Okay. Now, did you want um, any of these prescriptions on autofill? Mm hmm. Yeah, so basically, it kind of takes a step away from you. You won't have to call in your prescriptions. Mm hmm. There's a certain number of refills that your doctor will give you, and when it's time um, for those to run out, we can actually contact the medical office for you and ask for some refills. Mm. Eventually, um, your doctor will most likely have you come in for um, blood tests or other screenings, depending on your circumstances, um, to receive refills, but until that time, we can take care of the autofill process for you. Is that something that you're interested in? Okay. Okay. Now, I do need your insurance card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take a moment. Okay, thank you. I just need to scan this. Oh. Mm. Always so many numbers. <laughs> Group number. copy of our um, privacy and safety mm -hmm, for this pharmacy here. Um, it also goes over about some of our pricing. Yes, I know that that can be a scary topic for a lot of people. Um, however, we pride ourselves in um, the fact that we are one of the lowest cost pharmacies in the entire area and so that's beneficial to you um, you have insurance but even if you did not mm -hmm, we do not charge outrageous amounts for your prescriptions mm -hmm. yes you will find um, we can be a little busy here because so many people are switching to us because of our prescription and medicine costs. 
Mm. But I like to think that's a good thing. Having your prescriptions on autofill, as you've set up, will definitely save you some time. As will the text message mm -hmm, alert. So if you can just look over this, um, we take your privacy very seriously. And it just details some of that. Um, the only person that we would give your information out to is um, your contact that you have selected. Mm -hmm. And then if your prescribing doctor's office does have any questions um, regarding the medications or refills, we will answer questions with that. Mm -hmm. um, but that is only directly through to your doctor and medical office. No third parties of any kind. Mm -hmm. And of course, we just want to tape your safety in mind as well with how we handle the prescriptions. Mm -hmm. Of course. And another thing with that is, say, your contact was to come and pick up prescriptions for you. And it's very important to us that we clearly identify that that is the correct contact. And most of the time, we will require them to show identification just for your safety so that some random person is not a having access to your personal information or your medication list and of course that they are not taking off with your prescriptions mm -hmm. and then the bottom part of that page there is just going over some of our price lists and as i said we are a lower cost which is amazing for the general public mm -hmm. Yes, I don't think that people should have to worry about if they can afford their prescriptions each month. Yes, okay, so if everything looks okay on that, I'm just gonna have you sign that digital screen once more. Okay. And then one final time, just because it's your first time here, you won't have to do this every time, um, but if you could just um, confirm that all of the information on that screen there is correct. Mm -hmm. Name, date of birth, phone number, address, emergency contact, your prescribing doctor's office, medical office, yes, mm -hmm. your doctor's name, and your prescription list. If all of that looks uh, correct, you can just hit confirm on that screen there. Okay, so it looks as if I have a couple prescriptions for you today. Um, two inhalers, a um, daily inhaler and a rescue inhaler. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like we're going to be giving you some airborne options just to keep those nasty bugs away from you. Okay, um, one of your medications is still, um, being filled. Doesn't look like it's quite ready. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, I would say maybe an hour. Yeah. Um, if you like, we can send you that text message alert when it's ready. Mm-hmm. Did you want to pick up those other prescriptions now? Okay, perfect. And then when that final medication is ready, you will receive a text message. I think there was just one other confirmation we had to receive from the medical office from your doctor before we could fully, mm -hmm. okay, before we could fully fill that for you. So let me grab the inhalers for you first. No. Can you tell me if you've ever um, taken any sort of inhaler before? Okay, let me just open this for you. You can get an idea of what exactly. This is going to be your daily inhaler. Okay, so this is it right here. Mm -hmm. It's sealed to open it like that. Okay. 
you'll have your dosage on the front and the amount of doses left is going to be on this little dial on the top of this inhaler, okay? Now, your doctor is prescribing you take this two times twice a day so for example, when you get up in the morning, you're going to take two puffs of this inhaler mm -hmm. and then at night before you go to bed, you're going to take two more puffs of this inhaler with most inhalers, the first puff of medication helps to open the lungs up and then the second one fully gets the medication and prescription into your lungs, okay? So in this case, this everyday inhaler is going to help prevent any sort of asthma attacks or breathing issues. Mm-hmm. helping to make your lungs a little stronger. This one is a form of an inhaled steroid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the basics of your everyday inhaler. Now, just to be on the safe side, we also have the rescue inhaler for you. Say that you were to have an attack of some kind Mm -hmm. This would be the inhaler that you would use. So it's right here, once again closed and open. Okay. And this one you're going to want to make sure you shake up before you use. And the dial count on how many doses you have left is on the back of this inhaler. Once more, first puff helps to open the lungs and second puff gets into your lungs and is going to combat that asthma attack that you may be having. Mm -hmm. Now, it can be different for other people, but it looks as if your doctor has made a note that if you do have an extreme asthma attack, or if it does not seem to be helping right away, you are permitted to use four puffs of this at once. Okay? Or, of course, it can be spread out for a little bit. Two here, mm -hmm. two more, and that's within an hour period. Okay. All right. Just put that there. Now, something important with um, inhalers is no matter the daily inhaler or the rescue inhaler, you always want to make sure to rinse your mouth out after you administer it. Mm -hmm. This is to avoid any sort of um, infection or anything like that, that the spray may leave in your mouth, your gums. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to take a deep breath and get it as far down into your lungs as possible, but it is without cause. You will get some in your mouth as well. So it's just good to remember to, you know, drink a glass of water afterwards or, you know, gargle with some water um, to make sure that there's no sort of infection after you use an inhaler, okay? I always recommend for um, most people, especially if you're new to inhalers, to, you know, try and take a nice deep breath with it and hold just so that you're fully getting that medication down into your lungs and you're not wasting any of it. Okay. Okay. So there's those. And now your doctor had a couple other things for you. Okay. So, just to help with your immune system, especially during the winter months here, it looks like your doctor had recommend um, a form of Airborne. Mm -hmm. It's basically a vitamin C booster that can help you greatly, especially if you work with the public or you're around um, anyone with colds, things like that. Um, it's important to take those into effect, especially if you have breathing conditions, because simple colds can target your breathing quite quickly. Okay. So this one is going to be um, little dissolving tablets. This is a very berry flavor. Mm -hmm. And you just dissolve it into some warm water. 
and take a drink. Yeah. And that will just help to boost your immune system a little bit. Um, because you're still new to it, I am going to give you some of these gummies as well. Immune support gummies. Same sort of logic, just instead of drinking it, um, you're going to have this um, vitamin C boost through a gummy. They kind of taste like candy, if you will. This one on the top does have a child's lock. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're around children, but just to make note of that, okay? The, this one here is also going to have a little seal around it, but once that seal is broken, it is quite easy to pop open. Um, so if you're around pets or children, anything like that, it's good to keep this um, at a higher level, if you will. So it looks as if um, that's pretty much all I have for your prescriptions besides that other medication that um, I believe your doctor is adjusting dose on it. That's why, unfortunately, it's not ready for you yet. Okay, perfect. Let me just put these in the bag for you. doing with card, you can just swipe your card through there or use the chip. Okay. Good. It's gonna ask you for your pin. Good. And then the last screen I need you to sign is just that you have received your prescriptions from me and that you're picking them up to take them home. <laughs> All right. Here you go, they are all set for you. And as a reminder, as soon as your doctor approves that last medication, we will send you a text message when it's ready to be picked up. Okay? Thank you so much for stopping in. I look forward to seeing you again. All right now, you have a nice day. <laughs>